biggest expense in making something definitely reusable <coughs> is getting whatever's on it off because it's going to interfere with the welding and it's going to interfere with the re-coating later. And actually, that's one of the things that's most difficult to warrant. It's got residue coating on. There isn't a paint manufacturer out there going to touch warranting their paint going over the top of it. So it's got to go back to clean metal. Some coatings don't come off at all. Mm. Galvanizing would be one, and there's that wonderful sprayed concrete um, fire retardant stuff that's a son of a bitch as well. Um, <laughs> some of it comes off better, but in single price per ton coatings, I think, you, that, I think you got you got deconstruction. Yeah. Definitely more expensive than than, than the regular methods of uh, of, of demolition. Yeah. Um, but in terms of you know that being able to be managed, in terms of there there's, there is additional value generated from reusable steel. So hopefully, can we get to it? And you know, and and the you know the guys in the audience from you know McGee's deconstruct, Cantillon, Kelbray, there are all pick. And I think what's you know they, it, sometimes the contractors. Can, can can get a bad you know a, a bad rep for this and and you know not sort of following this but I think if we give strong market signals that a reusable steel service is the service to deliver mm. these guys are absolutely experts in terms of undertaking those processes yeah. so I think those will come down as 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 we become more efficient and and it scales Roy is absolutely right with 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 some of the um, with some of the sort of paint removal, but in terms of actually s surveying sections, is really can be really time consuming. That's why we've gone to a digital process now to try and reduce that time and get, get better efficiency. <laughs>